Okay, we have seven 4090s to go through, categorize, bin, and see what they can do. Who said there was a 4090 shortage? Not with the Jufus connections. Okay, so today's video is gonna be more of a scientific one. All we really wanna know is how much variance is there between 4090s, maybe depending on their models or depending on that four nanometer node from TSMC. The last time we did this was with the 3090 when it first came out. And uh, on that 10 nanometer Samsung node, whatever they wanna call it, 10 nanometer, eight nanometer, whatever, um, there was a massive variance in clock speed between cards. You could buy two different 3090s. One of them would clock to 2000. The other one could go all the way up to 2200. So that was a 10% silicon quality gap between those cards. So back then actually buying a few 3090s and picking out the best one and selling off the crappier ones actually had some merit to it. Two guys are paying the same price. One guy gets a 10% more powerful card for free essentially. Now you may ask, why do I have so many 4090s? I'm helping a couple of supporters in the Discord get their hands on them because of the shortages. I also have a few builds to do before Warzone 2 comes out. So I figured I would collect them all at once categorize them, and then at the same time, we get to see if there actually is any difference between the model or the silicon quality. So we're gonna test all four models. We're gonna test the power efficiency, the maximum clock speed, the uh, audio, the noise of the cooler, and how much power draw they pull while in 4K. Maybe there's a difference between the models, who knows. I will leave affiliate links down below for all of these models in the video today. But all of the models are kind of the law of the cheapest model versions. These are all MSRP models, plus or minus $50. We always buy the cheapest ones here to see if there is a difference. Now, assuming there is stock, I mean, if there are shortages, you gotta just grab whatever the hell you can grab. Beggars can't be choosers. But, I mean, assuming there is stock, let's see which one of these models probably is the best. Okay, so first up, we have 4090 Trio number one. We have the fan speeds normalized at 1200 RPM here, which ends up being... Uh, 58% on the on the slider there and then for the audio 54 well when I talk but 54 db yeah 54 db on this one with an efficiency of 540 on the silicon quality while we're mining here so now to find the maximum bin of this card, we're gonna go up by 15 at a time. Click on the Tomb Raider window here. We're doing it in 4K windowed mode. And then we look at the clock frequency and the power draw. So we're at 328. All right, so it looks like it's not crashing. Let's move it up another 15. 30. Check. Click. Now we're at 3015. Still good. And we're going to repeat this process until we find the max of this card. Damn, son. We might have a god bin right on the first go. We're almost at 3.1 gigahertz. Still has not crashed. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What's the power draw here? Uh, 330 watts, same wattage, pretty much, yeah, same wattage, cool, yeah, 328, 330 watts, there we go, it just crashed, 3120, so, a 20 plus 235, so we'll say this one went to 30, 30, 90 megahertz safely and effectively, Okay, so the results for the first one, 540 efficiency, 54 dB, and 30, 90 megahertz. So, now let's go do one of each model. Let's go do the Gigabyte one, let's do a Zotac, and then let's do the Tough. 
Okay, just doing the second trio now, and efficiency is 530 on this one, a little bit less, and DB is the exact same. Yeah, 54, same shit. Everything is the exact same with this one. So, uh, so far pretty consistent, a little bit less efficient, but let's see what this one clocks to. Yeah, see, you can tell on this one, we're at 3015, 1.1 volt, and this one is actually pulling uh, uh, 30 watts more than the other one, almost 40 watts. So this one is a bit leakier. Hi, kitty. Look at you. What are you doing? I'm recording. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, but let's see how far it goes up. Wow. 3135. She's pulling 370 watts now, but it's still not crashing. Holy shit. That is crazy. These things are insane. Yeah, just crashed on me. It was uh, 3145 on this one at 380 watts. So 3145 megahertz at 380. So yeah, 50 watts more on the draw there in 4K. So, um... You know, I don't know, in, in this scenario, I'd probably take this one. That's that's 50 watts, right? But let's go check out the other ones. So, Zotac number one is 55 dB at 1200 RPM. And the efficiency is five, yeah, 530 on this one. So, same as uh, Trio number two. We're at 3090. Let's move this up. It just crashed on me actually at 20, uh, 260. So let's see if 245 will do it. 3120, 3105. Oh yeah, it just crashed. So this one is uh, 3090. So, so far, Zotac number one is the worst. It clocks the same as the first one, but it has the leaky power draw of the second one. So, that's not brand specific, though, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's go try Zotac number two to find out. So, in the actual game, this one's pulling 380, which is the same as the other Zotac, but it seems to be a tad better. So it looks like the core is good on this one, but the memory isn't too good on this one. Let's try 290 here. Let's see if this crashes it. Oh no, still going, still going. So this is definitely a pretty decent sample. Yeah, yeah, not bad. 3120, let's move this up a little bit here. 305. Oh yeah, dude, 3135. Oh, it just crashed. Oh, it just crashed, yeah. So 3120, 3105, 3120 was the go-to here. Dude, what is this RGB? Yeah, this one's definitely the worst. It's almost pulling uh, uh, 400 watts here, 395 at uh, 3075, 3090. It was at 39. I think it just got too hot. Yeah, 3090. So 395 and 3090. Yeah, it looks like we have our clock speed winner here, though. It's not efficient. Let's try three, three thirty. It's not efficient, but she's she's clocking thirty one sixty five, and it's oh, it just crashed. There we go. So this one's actually might be thirty one fifty. That's still the best one. Let's let's try it again. Yeah. So this one's actually hovering around thirty one fifty, thirty one thirty five, depending on the power here, right? Um, and it gets hot, and then as it gets hotter, it downclocks a bit, but, yeah, I think this one, 
I'll probably keep this one for myself. We'll try the tough first, but yeah, this one seems to be it, with a water block. It might do like thirty-one fifty or some, right? That'd be pretty good. So I guess these are functionally the same. This one's probably a bit better just because of the power draw, right? But this one is still pretty good. Like that's, you know, I guess these are, you know, these are equal probably, right? This trio and this gaming OC. But the variance is kind of all over the place. Let's go try, let's go try the tough. Yeah, this one's 550. So that's really good for the efficiency here. Is this the most efficient one actually? 550? It is, yeah. So the tough, the tough is the best one for the efficiency so far. Cool. So this one does 3105, very similar to the first trio. Power draw is 355, depending on the temps, we'll go to 3090, right? So 3105, 350 watts, 39, I guess we can call it 3090, right, for the tough. So this one is the second most efficient. That, that first trio, though, is... Uh, is a huge outlier for that for that uh, for that efficiency though. So what do I think about these results? Well, honestly, I don't think it matters for the most part here. I'll probably keep this first trio and this tough just because they're the most efficient, right? Um, the tough actually also comes with um, two HDMI ports. So that could come in handy for if I wanted to play on my Neo G8 here and record some 4K footage at the same time. So the tough I'll put in my single player gaming rig, right? But the rest of all these wouldn't like like let's say you take the the bit of the fastest one here, 3150, and then you take the slowest one, the slowest one they all did 3090, right? Um that's 2% clock speed, right? That that's not going to even yield you one or two FPS in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, you're, so now you're, and then they, they all ran, uh, cool as hell. They all ran in like the 45 to 50 degree range. You know what I mean? They're all super quiet. There's not really a, like, it's kind of a nothing. Like this whole thing was kind of a nothing burger, right? Except for these outliers, this one here and this one here, they do pull a lot less wattage than the other ones, right? So here's the thing. This trio probably has the smallest cooler out of all of them, right? But since this one pulls such little wattage, it doesn't even get hot, right? So this, like there, there is a use case, or maybe you put this in an ITX build, right? So if you put this in an ITX build, doesn't get very hot, doesn't pull too much power, also clocks really high. That's probably where you would want something like this, right? So you can see that they were actually binning these for minimum clock speed and not so much power draw, right? It was the same thing with the 3090 Ti as well. So in terms of like uh, or silicon leakage, you can have almost a 60, 60 watt variance depending on the uh, the card, right? But in terms of clock speed, they're all pretty much the same, right? Anyway, guys, thank you to the supporters that bought these cards for me. Thank you to the people that put in PC build requests on the website for your Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 builds coming up. You guys are getting your graphics cards shipped out here pretty soon. And uh, I hope you guys learned something today. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Actually, comment down below... Which cooler you like the best? You know what? I think the Zotac is super underrated. The Gigabyte one is probably the quietest. And the Tough is probably the blandest, in my opinion. I, I actually... My favorite's gonna be between the Zotac and the Trio, not gonna lie. Probably the, the Trio is my favorite because of the RGB. I, I don't like the disco ball shit over here. But anyway, anyway, comment down below which one you guys like the best. And I will see you guys in the next one where we uh, put a water block on the tough. And I will see you guys later. Uh, talk to you later.